Back to Marcia of Mood with Marcia. Let's get into Warrior One. Let's get into a standing Warrior One. So Warrior One, the hips are closed, meaning, meaning facing the same direction. One leg is forward, one leg is behind. The width you could play around with, the arm placement you could play around with. There's a few things that are pretty standard no matter what you choose. If we're going left leg forward, right leg back, the back leg is at an angle, and you can see my foot. The front leg, you're gonna go knees over the toes, and if you could see your big toe from where you're standing here, hips closed, then you're probably in a good alignment with the knee. You want that to be straight. If you go in, it kind of blocks your big toe, then you know you're too far in. Now, you do want to make sure this is nice and braced and tucked, actively pulling. If I relax, I, I want to go this way, so I might have to actively pull myself and force myself to stay hips closed. Arms could be hands on the hips, maybe hands on a wall or a chair if you need balance. Only one arm up, both arms up. You could go with cactus arms, you could go with locust arms. Possibilities are endless, as long as you understand the idea of the legs. And again, the width is up to you. This will be harder or easier, depending on where you're at. But if you're struggling there, then narrow the stance. And I'll show you from the front so you can see the knee alignment and what I mean. So right now, ooh, I'm square. Boom. Knee, I could see my big toe. When I can't see my big toe, Come up. So pay attention to what your body's doing and where it's doing it, and you'll be all right in that warrior one. Hit that thumbs up. If you're into this content, these tutorials, you want more, subscribe. You got questions, comment. Catch you on the next upload, folks. Toodles.